there's a story. That when a mouse, a human, and an elephant fall down a mine shaft, the mouse bounces and runs away, the human breaks a leg, and the elephant just explodes. We're going to find out why this is and how gravity shapes the animals around us using origami and a bit of maths. This is a square. Let's call it our small mouse. And it has a length of one mouse unit. If I was going to inflate this, I'd need about one breath to do it. <laughs> now our mouse has a volume, and that is one times one times one. That's one cubic mouse unit. But we also have a larger mouse. This mouse is double the length. But how much breath do you think I'll need to inflate it? This is the fun bit. Ooh, that was um, slightly more than two breaths. But we've doubled the length. But look at the volume. The volume is now two times two times two. Hang on, that's eight cubic mouse units. This large mouse has eight times more stuff inside of it. That also means it's eight times heavier. And as we look at larger and larger and larger mice, we find that the weight increases at a much greater speed than length does. This means that large animals are comparatively heavier than small animals. And it's here that we hit a snag. And it's this snag that cr has created a huge diversity of animal shapes. If large animals were just scaled up versions of small animals, they will be too heavy, their legs would give way, and they would explode. How can we stop these giant mice from exploding? <laughs> well, the solution is simple. To make a two-ton mouse, you have to turn it into an elephant. Picture what these animals look like. Mice have delicate matchstick legs, and elephants have giant tree trunk legs that are thicker than you'd expect if you just simply scale them up. And we call this positive allometry. Allometry means there's a change in shape, and the positive bit means that that change is chunky. But just in case, animals have another trick up their sleeve, and that's with posture. Mice stand with really crouched, bent legs, and that's fine when you're 50 grams, but once you start to get to person and to elephant size, it starts to get really difficult. It's like an elephant doing squats. <laughs> so instead, we see a shift from the crouched posture of the small animal up to the tall, pillar-like posture of the large animal. By making their body shape stout and tall, large animals are able to resist the crushing effects of gravity. And going back to the plight of our animals falling down the mine shaft, we can all boil it down to this. When fighting gravity, it really is a case of the bigger you are, the harder you fall. Thank you. Yes.